Real good. Okay. It's your boy Sim from the Hill. Be back with another episode of The Rundown. It's a special episode. I got one of them wrong to me. What am I here with? Julie Lamb. yourself. Tell me who you are and what you do in your own words. I'm a jewelry designer here in New York City making almost everything here um, in these couple of blocks that we're sitting in in the Diamond District. Um, born and bred New Yorker and that comes through my work. Yes it does, yes it does. Um, in terms of where we are, uh, what is the significance? All this physical space. Uh, this is my little showroom, my little space. So I am uh, with a, a jeweler and a good, very good friend of mine who I respect, who I've known for many, many years. Actually, you can pre, you should feature this guy, uh, Amerigo Izzo, and he might stop and say hi anyway. We've been friends for a really long time. He's a master jeweler, and what I mean by that is he learned apprenticing from his father and does everything by hand. Okay. I'm more on the design side, I'm um, getting concept, I'm drawing, I'm going through uh, CAD and 3D modeling. This guy, he's pulling every wire by himself. So, um, yeah, we connect on some of my higher end projects, he's amazing. But anyway, so it's nice to have like this kind of roommate, right? right. So, and this happened during the pandemic when everything was like a shake up because I couldn't, I wanted like a little space here, but you know, everything seemed like you couldn't figure it out or afford it or a thing, and then, you know, when the shakeup happened, he invited me to take this little piece over, and it's been like so great for the business to have like my clients can come in and pick up. We could do a trunk show here. We could do this, you know. Right, right. <laughs> it's nice to have your own thing. Right. And in terms of um, the you know the neighborhood, in terms yes. of like the irrelevance to that. Um, so we're in the Diamond District. I'm on uh, West 48th Street. 47th Street is the main drag. I've been doing errands for people and designers since I'm like 19. So uh, yeah, it is crazy. And when I think about it, I'm like, whoa, I'm doing my whole life. You know? <laughs> so um, when I uh, came back from school from Syracuse, I'm a metal smithing major and I wanted to work in the summer um, between uh, semestered and get some, you know, hands-on, real uh, experience here. And I, that's when I, you know, working for another designer, running to get her castings, pick up her chain and her wire. So there's people here who've been selling me jump rings and lobster class since, <laughs> you know, a very long time ago. So that I have my own thing now is like not a surprise to anyone, but you know, it's something like you think about for so many years before you like take the jump. So. I want you to explain a couple of these because yes. these concepts are crazy. <laughs> yeah, so um, I will start with City because it's an influence. Um, actually, you want to grab that postcard? Yeah, so City is about New York City and right where we are, like I was talking about. So one of the original designs is the, the manhole cover um, and then the back it says made in New York by New Yorkers because I was really like wanted to make I worked for all these big companies and we'd send things overseas and I'd go to China twice a year for many years and I just love the idea of like oh my god this is locally made you know I, I just think it's so cool so um mantle covers and then all the tokens and I have different styles of these so before there was a metro card there were funny little coins and um, <laughs> like my dad was working in the garment district and he'd have to carry tokens and like, you know, my first experiences were on the train or like going to the garment district with him. So, you know, this is, uh, it's industrial details from the city and we're stepping on these things in the street and we're using them to get where we're going and it's not, I wanted to be able to elevate it by using, you know, precious materials and diamonds and stones and make it into, you know, make that hardware into like fine jewelry. So. I love it. <laughs> I love this line, and it's just like a it's a love letter to the city, you know. <laughs> and it gets even deeper. Yes, that one. That one got deep. I um. So that's my foray into into a bridal line. Um, I'm calling it Built for Love, and 
this line. So it is engagement and wedding. Um, I designed each engagement ring off of a landmark building, right? So you've got Brooklyn Bridge, uh, Bowl Bridge is a beautiful bridge in Central Park. People are always getting engaged on. <laughs> um, Cathedral is after St. Pat's, Rock Center, obviously across the street from where we are, Empire State Building. So, you know, I did all these. Um, there's something about um, the permanence of landmarks and the commitment you're making like when you go into a marriage. So those were the things I was fooling around with other than the architecture, because you know I like my words. Right. <laughs> so when I'm sitting there, I'm designing and putting the, the storyline together kind of at the same time, it's equally important to me, the drawing and, and the work that I'm gonna use. So um, um, bridal for us in the jewelry industry is a bread and butter. It's very saturated. You can do a ring a million different ways and everyone has. I didn't want to touch it until I could make it my own. So that was my way to bring it back to my overall branding was to New Yorkify it. Right. <laughs> if that's a word. Wow. It is now. <laughs> yeah. So there's kind of influences like that. Right. Real New York shit. Let's get into the fit. Right. Let's get it going right now. All right. Let's get, it. All right. <laughs> let's so, we'll let's get the big corporate out of the way. <laughs> so this is Nike, obviously, but you know, I thought it was cool how they blacked out their own logo. That is very cool. Isn't that strange? Yeah. And I did like the pop of pink in there, so that made me. And it kind of looks like a lab coat. So I'm like, let's see that one more time. Oh yeah, the, the pink is yeah, cool, right? Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, so it's kind of like a lab coat, but I did like how they did that. I'm like, I'm not so labely, but I thought that was cool. It's like from uh, from the outlet, right? right. <laughs> so we're moving to Nike. Then I've got these sorrel sneakers on. I got a little wedge to them. So that's like, I'm wearing an outdoor brand, even though I really like cement and I'm not trying to go on a hike. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer cement to any of those outdoor things. The most outdoor thing about me is uh, I'm an earth sign, but that's it. And then I do tend to do a lot of military. This is by Joe's jeans, which is like pretty much the only jeans I wear. Once you find a jean that fits you, you're not trying to be in that dressing room with it. <laughs> right? So I'm like, I know my size, I have good, so I love this one. I do have a lot of like utilitarian and military style uniform type of things. I love uniform everything. Um, this, again, is military. This is bandolier. I should be selling these. Um, it's great for people in the Diamond District when you're putting your little stuff in there. You got like a hiding pack back there. I don't have to look for my phone. That makes me crazy. I'm not doing it. I wear this. Uh, what else do I have? That's all the pieces except for the jewels. <laughs> so I probably have lots of collections on. Um, one of a kind, that could be anything I want. That's why I have a really good time. Uh, this is from Elements, uh, Teardrop Glamour Cuff. I wear this with everything. Um, this is a new, this is from my BU collection. You see that lamb? That's my logo, that's my last name. He's very fancy here with a giant emerald, which is my birthstone. Um, more lamby. That goes into Metropolis with like the superpowers, yeah. which I've got a little bit more. There's one little Metropolis on. I knew I need superpower today. We're doing an interview. Right. I need that extra. This, my friends make fun of me. We call it, it's called the necklace that doesn't come off. Cause I, I make it for people. It's a body part, so. I guess it comes off there is a class but live eat sleep breathe this is on my body mm. <laughs> i got one token here that's the love is love we are in june i've got the rainbow sapphire on that one it says love is love in the back it matches the uh, do you see rock center today it's it, i mean it's all the pride flag and a four it's so good i need to go there <laughs> photograph what else is on here oh uh, grandma it's nice to wear something from Family member was fast. Good, good old rope chain, probably from the 80s. This is a friend of mine, uh, always a lady. She hand makes these chains. So I was like, I cannot find, like, this is a trend and they sell them all day long, but I didn't find the exact right link. I had her make it for me. Can you make exactly this link? Yes, I can. <laughs> so beautiful, you know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Very important. Always a hoop earring. Mm -hmm. These are called the Go To Girl. They're an oval. So it's a really simple looking design. It is hard to engineer those ovals, but I got kicked out of two shops with this idea. I had to make them tooling, and then I brought it back, you know, make them something to knock the wire around mm -hmm. so it comes out the same all the time. And I was like, I'll make it. So these are special to me because it was like a challenge. <laughs> There's some other little bits and stuff in here, but yeah, I definitely was piercing my ears 
since I started my brand, I wanted to wear more of my stuff mm -hmm. at the same time. <laughs> I think I got most of it. <laughs> Last question. Yes. Um, when it comes to who or what has been influencing you or inspiring you lately, whatever comes to mind. Mm -hmm. Whatever comes to mind. So we, we touched on it a little bit, so definitely like New York City, like you're just walking around. This place has always been like a freedom to me. Like I grew up in Canarsie. With that neighborhood so much, um, it was different than it is now. And I like, I was like, I can draw. And I ran away to art design high school, and that opened my mind up and my friend base up. And my, you know, you're bouncing around all the boroughs now. You're just like so much bigger here. So this place and me walking around in it and the details I'm picking up is like definitely the muse. And then sometimes it's uh, something somebody says to me, and I take it out into a concept and I guess I spend a lot of time in my own head but <laughs> other creatives that I play with you know like it could be jewelry designer friends will run a new line by me mm, I had a friend run a clothing line by me on the weekend I had a friend run something about sustainability presentation by me and I'm like it's you know honored that you want my opinion, right. I'm gonna rip it up. I'm gonna rip up your project and <laughs> feed it back to you, but you know, with love and with suggestions, and I believe you hanging, but I mean, that is like, you know, charges my batteries mm -hmm. when we can go back and forth, right, and right. it could be with anybody, and we have to shout out to Helen with the gold teeth. <laughs> she's who put us together mm -hmm. right here, right mm -hmm. now, and she's someone I met around doing my thing, um, and we just, yeah, I picked her right out. We um, became friendly, and she's one of the great ones, as you know. <laughs> awesome. awesome. I love your creativity. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the way you think about, like, putting things together, and I think I was saying earlier, like, your journey being so linear. It is. It's like, that's, it's special, you know? I, like, when you're trying to, like, write your uh, biography for your website or something, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I'm like, this is such a boring story. Like, I was a little kid, I was making jewelry, I went to school for jewelry, I graduated to make jewelry, you know what right, I mean? Right, so, right. I, in my head, I'm like, so boring. <laughs> I didn't have some backstory, but I mean, it's just like, uh, this singular thing in my life that I always, like, it's a driving force for me. Right. Yeah, and now that it's my own... There's stuff that I've done in his brand that I wasn't allowed to do when I worked for other brands or right. corporate and stuff, right. you know? When I'm always a girl who's like, oh, Valentine's Day, we have to make hearts for Valentine's Day. Really? And I'd be like, can I make one black heart? And they'd always be like, no. no. And I'm like, not everybody likes Valentine's Day. Right. Like, someone just broke up, they got divorced, they don't right. have a boyfriend, and I always want to make a black heart. Now I got my black sheep instead. <laughs> I don't do any hearts. Ah, once in a while I throw in a heart, but it's more about you know things I always wanted to do. I can do now. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. <laughs>